Um, I'm going to go into a slightly different direction. We have a couple of questions left, and I'm going to exercise just my uh, prerogative to ask a question that I would have included in some of these questions, which was not included. And it's very simple, so it won't take up a lot of, of the candidates' times. So I just want to know a thumbs up or a thumbs down for E-Verify, starting with uh, Jen. Thumbs up? Thumbs up? A state E-Verify or a federal E-Verify? State, federal, community, E-Verify. I'm going to be against a mandated state E-Verify. Okay. All right, the audience wants to know why. Let's give everybody a chance to, to uh, let's start with Melanie. She's the, she took on everybody. I'm the dissident. Let me, uh, let me defend myself. So I'm, I'm obviously against illegal immigration, uh, more, more so than I think, uh, you know, just from my Italian heritage, it was funny, we were here recently for the Italian American Society talking about our immigration history as Italians. Um, and it's, it's very important that we get immigration under control in this country. It's very important that we put that directly to the federal government. This is a federal issue. If we're going to have immigration legislation that is a business consequence when it comes to our workers here, when it comes to our labor force, we have to have it uniformly across the United States. This is not good to put Florida at an unfair disadvantage. I've seen some comments where there would be certain participating states the fact is, is there are industries that you can't even imagine that this affects. And if we have unfair advantage, it puts us in an unfair category and our, our costs go up and other states' costs go down. And so I would be more in favor of us leading the charge to have a real guest worker program to close our borders first. First and foremost, we got to close these borders, okay? That's the federal government's job, absolutely. And we've got to keep pushing them from Florida. All the states that are border states, we've got to keep pushing them. We've got to stop allowing illegal immigrants to take any kind of benefits out of our state uh, coffers. Any of them. And then we've got to have a guest worker program because we do have major industries here, tourism and agriculture, that depend on a skilled labor force that comes here seasonally. We're getting beat by countries like Canada and New Zealand on this. This is simple stuff. These are simple guest worker programs that they come and then they go. And if they can come and go and they can be licensed, A, it's gonna decrease our crime, and B, it's gonna cost us less in the long run. We're not gonna have these people on our bankrolls. So if we are willing to accept a Band-Aid program like you verify, we're never going to get a real solution. And I really feel that we deserve a real solution. I feel that all of us that have family members that came here the right way and that had to go through the same process that they should have to go through now. So we deserve a better program than these Band-Aid programs. I'm very familiar with uh, illegal immigration in the state of Florida. And you may not know it, but the Federal Immigration Code, uh, 8 U.S.C. 1324, is very crystal clear. And it says that local law enforcement can stop anyone at any time and ask them their, their citizenship status without a warrant. However, your local police departments keep pointing their finger at Washington. Anyone who wants to read this law after the meeting, I have it right here, you can read it. I used E-Verify for five years. I'm very familiar with E-Verify. I had people apply for jobs in my companies, and when I gave them the E-Verify form, they got up and left. You figure they were here legally, and anybody that wouldn't vote for E-Verify means that we're going to spend another $5 billion to support non-U.S. citizens in the state of Florida, which means every household is going to pay about $763. This is an EBT receipt, food stamp receipt, from a non-U.S. citizen from a major food store in Palm Beach County. And the balance on this food stamp card, ladies and gentlemen, so yeah, you know where your money's going, the balance, non-U.S. citizen, $5,650. Now, your first line of defense is E-Verify because that's a virtual fence. That's a virtual fence. You want a second fence? 
You want a secondary virtual fence? You pass uh, uh, legislation to make it mandatory to provide proof of citizenship to get food stamps, Section 8 housing, or Medicare. Thank you. If he verifies the option that has been given to us by the federal government, and that is our option, then we must use it. And it's that simple. The federal government has responsibilities to make America secure for our communities, for the safety and economic security of our families. It is essential that we solve the problem of illegal immigration. But barring a true solution from the federal government, if E-Verify is the option we have, E-Verify is the option we have to vote for in the legislature. <laughs>